Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'm just going to be doing a very quick Dollar Tree DIY for you. And that is just a lampshade to basically look like a lantern. This DIY only costed about four or five dollars and I think it turned out very cute. If you like videos like this, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to also subscribe down below. But other than that, just kick back and enjoy this DIY. So I did make this lantern in a previous DIY, but I just wanted to show you that you guys can use this same method to create other things such as this lampshade. So this is the lamp that I decided to use. It is a floor lamp, but you can use any type that you want. My brother-in-law gave this to me and I painted it white. All you have to do is take the lampshade off and keep the wire that holds the lampshade in place because you are going to be using this. I apologize that I did not get taking that apart on camera. This was kind of a last minute DIY, but as you can see, you are going to be using four 11 by 14 picture frames from the Dollar Tree. And you basically just want to take those apart. The only thing that you are going to be using is the frame and the glass. A little trick here for future DIYs if you want to utilize this is to take apart those little metal things on the back of the picture frame and you can use those for future DIYs hanging up pictures. As long as they're light it would work just perfectly and you can just hot glue them to the back of any DIY that you decide to do. I'm just going to be using my white Waverly chalk paint and I'm going to be painting the frames white. Of course you can paint them any color that you want but white is my color. We have a lot of white in my house and so I'm doing white on mine. Would it not be so much easier for the Dollar Tree to just carry white picture frames? Come on, I feel like they would get sold out immediately. Now I'm going to be using these very long skewer sticks from the Dollar Tree. I did get these in the beginning of summer and so if your Dollar Tree does not have them currently, you can get these pretty much anywhere. You could even order them on Amazon but they're very inexpensive. And basically all you want to do is measure them to the width of the picture frame and just cut them with your scissors. It's very easy. I usually just make a little mark with my scissors and then just kind of rip them or like tear them apart and super easy.
And now, of course, just paint those white as well. Any white paint will do. I just always use my white Waverly chalk paint. As you can tell here, this is a different day. I had to go back to the dollar store and buy another 11 by 14 picture frame because I thought that I had a fourth one in my basement, but obviously I didn't, so I had to go back and buy another one. But this is the piece that you are going to be painting white as well, or whatever color you want. It's the piece from the um, top of the lampshade, and that's basically what you are going to be using to put the lampshade in properly. And now that everything is painted, I am basically just going to hot glue the glass back into the picture frame. With this whole project, hot glue is going to be your best friend because we all know that things from the Dollar Tree can be a little bit flimsy and so you want to secure it down very well with hot glue. Now you're just gonna hot glue them together to form that perfect square. As you can see, I had my husband do this part, but he is basically just going to drill a small hole in all of the sides to secure down that metal piece to hold up the lampshade. And then he's gonna um, just secure it in with some hot glue as well once he puts the um, metal into the holes.
and there you go it's done and I love it it goes on very easily just as any other lampshade would I really hope that you guys enjoyed this quick DIY like I said it was just a fast one I did do this before and so I just wanted to again show you that you could use this method with other things as well I've got a lot more Dollar Tree DIYs coming, farmhouse DIYs coming, and so if you like videos like this, make sure that you are subscribed so that you do not miss out on any of those videos. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching, bye.